a very important three points up to fourth in the table and sometimes that's what it's about and a good win in the end. I thought at times we was, we was pretty good in the first half. I thought we kicked off the second half and for the first ten minutes we played like it was a testimonial. We, we, we kept the ball for, for a decent period but didn't really go anywhere, didn't ask any questions. No midfield runners, no, no balls in behind them, no questions of their defenders or the goalkeeper. So um, the game kind of drifted away from us at, at, at that stage. But I have to give credit to, to Bauer. They stuck in there. You know, when you, when, you, when you play against the back five, they switch play really well on us and they cause a few problems at, at the probably the last 20 minutes. But it's been a really difficult game to, to prepare. We have, Usually I, I like giving the, the players every last detail of the opposition and how we're going to play and, and what they're going to do. But with Carlisle's postponements of recent weeks and the manager coming in, they've made six, seven signs. Their team had seven different players to when we played Barrow at, at their place. So huge credit to the players because we didn't give them much information. We tried to concentrate on just what we're going to do. Um, and I thought we got a lot of positives out the first half. But the players, we, myself and Joyce, can't take any credit for that because the players worked it out. We pressed from the front. We got another goal from pressing high up for, for a defensive mistake. And, and that got us the three points. Really, that's what Hendo's there to do, you know, his experience and reading the pitch when opportunities like that come, that second goal he scored like that in two weeks and uh, one week even, and he's starting to find a bit of form again. Well, we're, just, we're just getting him in little different, different positions and we're asking other people to, to do his running. Um, probably when I first, I was asking too much of him. I played him as a tent sometimes, which is not his natural position. Um, we're just trying to save his energy for, for the top end of the pitch, both pressing and, and his movements. We could have found him a lot more in the, in, in the first half. His runs were were very good, which you probably don't see, but um, so he's, an excellent, he's an excellent professional. And um, I just hope that he keeps us continuing scoring every week. How important can those 1 0s turn out to be uh, throughout the course of the season? Uh, well, whoever you are, if you, if you want to win promotion, if you want to win leagues, if you want to be in the top three, then you need, you'll probably need six or seven 1 0 wins throughout the season. That's both games we've played away at Barrow and here, both 1 0. Um, and again, I just think he was a little bit mentally tired to not. Not physically, we felt physically was OK. We just were on the half turn and instead of passing it, we just took that extra touch and we're not quite seeing pictures quick enough. And sometimes that can happen. Um, but like I say, every the players take all the credit today because they adjusted, even though we didn't give them too much information and, and they got the three points. But also mentally, how important is it for the lads? Because Barrow put a bit of pressure late on and you know, we talked before about late goals to, mm. to keep that clean sheet and to see it through, how much of a boost will that give them? The pleasing one, last time was uh, a goal up with a few minutes ago was against Newport and we conceded late and then at Harrogate, which was disappointing, but I thought our, organis our organisation very quickly from set plays was good, obviously another team with a, with a long throw. So I think we defended them really well. Um, but Barrow are a decent team. People, people dismiss these teams as the whole bottom league. Harrogate got a point here and everyone's disappointed with a point. Harrogate won every game since. It's just, if you, if, it doesn't matter who you play, whether you play the top teams, if we're on it, we'll win the games. If we play the bottom teams and we're on it, we will win the games. It's all about what we do. We're not going to be able to do it every single week, press from the front like that and get our press right. But there's going to be times where we need to be in a good shape. Our defenders need to be in, in, in alignment with the, with the midfield players and it's going to be a second ball game. I thought second half, Jason Lowe, Paul Coots, excellent at winning second balls and just disrupted their, their momentum, what they had in the last 15 minutes.